cars and why it's a hobby of mine. And there's a lot of different answers to that question. But one of the main ones is that it's fun. And when I talk to people about why I like cars and why it's fun, one of the things that comes up is how expensive the hobby can be and how quickly you can spend money on a car to get it to where you want it. So in this video I'm going to be talking to you about five cars under $15,000 that I think are the most fun and have the best performance. Corvette 
And if you're lucky, you might even be able to get the Z06, which in my opinion looks better, but you're not going for looks on this list. And the base model Corvette looks fine as it is. So this is the sports car of the list. Same thing, manual, V8, rear-wheel drive. Perfect recipe for having fun. But the difference between this and the muscle car of the list, the Firebird, this is a little bit more balanced. You'll get better handling out of it, and you can really do whatever you want with this car. You can drag race it. It's good for drag racing. You can autocross it. balanced and forgiving if this is a just a car that you're looking to have some fun in take to a couple road course events track events and on top of that it's reliable you have the proven LS platform start out with this car for under 15,000 there's also lots of potential and aftermarket parts to build this car to the way you want it just look at Leroy for example or any other Corvette that has been modified for track use so again, I've hit all the points before, but it's the same thing with the Corvette. With it being a manual or even automatic, you don't need a manual to have fun. My Corvette's an automatic and I have plenty of fun. But it's mainly just having the torque to you know, punch it out of corners, come out at a high rate of speed of corners. And of course, I've already mentioned spinning the tires, so I'm sure you guys are getting sick of that, but there's a lot more fun to be had than just spinning tires. The Corvette offers a lot more than that. It's really well balanced, especially in stock form or even with 100 more horsepower, you don't really lose that balance when you modify it. And going back to the aftermarket parts, they're not really hard to find at all. You can. There's a lot of companies that make products for the LS and the Corvette platform. And since it's been around for a while, you can really make it your own. Whether that be wheels and tires, suspension for the stance, or wraps, whatever you want to do to it, you can do as you please with it. So the last two cars are slightly related and I'll explain that in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead with number two on the list. It's going to be the Mazda Miata, and I think a lot of you are probably thinking, well, how's a Miata better than a Corvette? It's not as fast. It might be more agile, but if you're looking for fun, don't you want speed over agility? And it's not like the Corvette's not agile. So the reason I have the Miata at position number two on the list is...
tons of aftermarket availability makes it a great choice to have lots of fun in for under 15,000. The last and final car on my list might be a shocker for some of you, but if you're inclined enough, but if you're inclined enough, you can have the perfect car for under 15,000 that will provide you with loads of fun and lots of performance. This car, or cars, are kit cars made by Exomotive and DF Goblin. So, you may have heard of them, you may have not, but Exomotive makes the X set, and you start with Miata, and basically you turn it into a full exoskeleton car, and they have both on-road and off-road versions. The off-road version is more expensive because you have to purchase suspension parts, but with this off-road version, you can get all the way up to 14 inches of suspension travel, have approximately 200 horsepower, and a car that weighs a little over 1,500 pounds. And with the suspension travel, and with the weight of the car, and the power to weight ratio, it really becomes the perfect dual sport vehicle. You can take it to the track and autocross it, and then you can also take it off road and really do similar things to the Ford Raptor, but in a car that weighs 1,500 pounds, and it's really like a street legal dune buggy or side by side. In my opinion, if I had to choose any car on this list, it would be the X Motive kit car or the DF Goblin kit car because it gives you in one package all the fun that you could ever need, both on road and off the road. And like the Miata, you can also LS swap it. So if you wanted, you could create a five, 600 horsepower dune buggy that's street legal, exoskeleton, that would do really well in autocross since it's really lightweight and it has a good wheelbase. And it would make a good drag racing car if you're into that as well. All you would have to do is throw some good tires on it and 500 horsepower in a car that weighs a little over 1,500 pounds should get you moving pretty quickly.